Happy Saturday, everybody. This is a pick a card reading for today, Saturday, November 12th. You pick a card. It's your main energy, but I do pull all the cards together. They're for all of us. And November 12th, babies, we will do your reading next. All right. So if you pick card number one, it is the strength card. It's a major arcana. So this is an important day for you. Um, major arcanas are important. But strength can be, this usually represents a Leo too. There is an energy here of healing and power. All right, I do feel that energy. There's going to be, I want to say, some kind of um, news that's going to come in. And you may get excited. Maybe something you've been waiting for. You could be celebrating. This could be news um, of a relationship or something related to people at home, uh, family, okay? Maybe news of an engagement. I don't know. There is something there. Um, something is positive here, I have to say, too. You could be the glue that keeps things together, too, all right? So tolerance, self-discipline, all of that's coming through. Follow your passions. Your passion is ignited today. Definitely follow your passions today as well, okay? Card number two is the Six of Swords. All right. There's a few weird messages I'm picking up with this today. This is usually the card of, uh, you know, you're leaving the troubles waters behind, okay? But I do feel... That there is an energy that you could be doing. Um, there's an errand or uh, running errands. Travel may be involved today. You've got people who are supportive around you. There, there's some growth in a new beginning. It's a new financial beginning. New um, offer or something is there. Now, I'm picking up for some of you imagination. Something, it's like your imagination or um, visions or daydreams could be uh, very significant. Um, there's an artistic and creative expression to you today. So really, it's something to work with. And there could be something money-making. Or I'm picking up some of you may be traveling or moving in um, maybe mid from mid-March to June. End of June. Okay, so I'm picking that up as well. Um, this could be plans to travel as well. I do feel that or moving away. Now, there is a significant energy here to kind of breathe, um, release old patterns, release uh, some energies, try to change things up. There's high sensitivity here. You're extra sensitive today to all the energies and emotions around you. But what are you picking up? What are you feeling? What is it that you need to process? Okay, some fears and worries will be leaving you as well. Um, so this is good. It's a new beginning as well. All right, card number three is the five of cups. All right. You know, I do feel here that from anything that you're overthinking or some negativity or trying to get out of a bum situation, there is happiness and support around you. Okay. So I do feel that energy or this is something, you know, that you were upset about. All of a sudden you kind of change. So, um, it goes from sadness or bummed out to happiness. There is some kind of good deal coming around. Either it's with finances or somebody offers something to you. There is a productive energy here. So being productive is very important. There's something that you just need to go ahead and do. Okay? Not procrastinate is what I'm picking up as well. So happiness is there for you. All right? So it just could be you're not seeing these two cups as they say. Okay? Strength, six of swords, and the five of cups. Um, a lot of daydreaming today, um, focus on the future, um, envisioning things, uh, maybe nightmares, uh, possible dreams. There is something I have to say collectively to pay attention to our, um, surroundings, who's around us, what's going on. Okay. There is, um, a new beginning. It's almost like a fear of not knowing where we're going. Uh, fate and destiny is showing up here. And I do feel some of our, uh, some of us are just going to kind of Go with the flow, adventurous energies there, taking a leap of faith, okay? Pay attention to what your dreams are saying and what your visions are telling you as well. Manifestation is high. We could be dealing with a group of people too. Um, what you want is there before you. This is also but divine timing. It's a time to not push things too much, retreat, go with the flow, stop trying to make some things happen. Just It's divine timing. Just go with the flow. Pay attention to the signs around you. I do feel we have the magic. We um, There is some changes. They could be a little unnervy, um, but we need to own our own power here, okay? Because we're kind of holding ourselves back. Um, 
these could be nightmares we had or daydreams or um, something around us. It's kind of surreal, but it's a more of a delusional energy. It's not exactly what you think it'll be. I, I don't know. It's the best way to say it. Okay. All right. So that is the re, uh, reading for today. Um, Saturday, November 12th. Have a fabulous Saturday. Happy birthday if you're born today, November 12th. This is a quick and general reading. This is your solar, your theme, and this is your wish card. And I do offer readings like this and others um, of birthday readings on my website. You have a major arcana of the Hierophant, so this is a significant solar year for you. All right, for some of you, this is your manifestations are going to come to fruition. Some of you will be dealing with, um, um, I want to say, your intuition, the higher up, uh, esoteric energies too, spiritual beliefs. Uh, there is a focus also on important uh, groups of people. This could be with institutions, school, um, the government. I do feel that energy too. This indicates also a very strong healing energy. Abundance is coming, but there's a lot, there's abundant energy around you, but there's a lot of changes. Some things are going to be ending, okay? So follow your intuition too, but it's going to be some happy endings. There is lots of um, activity going on and spiritual activity too. You are going through some great transformation, okay? Uh, a breakthrough is coming through too, but transformation is definitely happening and changes. Um, people situation may, may leave your life. Um, different ways of thinking is coming through too. Uh, these are even mental changes. I'm talking about how, not mental, um, like your thoughts, um, updating things. There is a lot of changes. Um, fast moving energy, there's going to be some very fast, uh, significant um um, maybe news coming through or an announcement, but I do feel that you need to take some time out too, because it could be very uh, hectic. Okay. Uh, you know what is best for you. So take authority this year for yourself. Gratitude is the attitude to being grateful for the loving people we have. Be grateful for all the blessings that you have in your life is very important. I see flirtatious and romantic energy. This could be some flings. I don't know if it's anything that's going to last, but I see flings, um, dating, um, several people for some of you. I pick up a Leo energy too. For some of you, there is going to be a separation, okay? You're either a make it or break it in a relationship, okay? Or you're going to conti you know, continue with it. Or there is a continuancy too with like, like maybe it's a separation and you're just going to take some time for yourself. A lot of chaotic and scattered energies around you though. The help that you want is going to be on its way and it's going, it's available around you, even spiritual help. So definitely feeling that energy too. Okay. And your wish for your soul year is the 10 of swords. All right. What I'm feeling here is first, this is a blockage. There is a start over period. Follow your dreams, your passions, your goals, allow new horizons to come in is what I'm picking up. Uh, new people, new situations that definitely coming through. You have a choice. First, you need to break yourself free. You always have a choice. Just know that movement is imp important. For some of you, this uh, initiates in maybe between September, mid-September through mid uh, to mid-December. I don't know if it's this year. For some of you, it could be um, the next fall uh, season that I'm seeing, okay, um, for it to come to fruition. Um, it's going to take some time. It is a ten of swords, okay? So you need to clear some energy. For other uh, others of you, it's a no because it could be a change of uh, situation or a change. you change your mind somehow and it's, it turns out to some, uh, be a blessing in disguise, okay? All right, important numbers for your solar year. You have quite a bit. Um, 88, 5, 37, 67, 93, 27, 55, 29, 19, 10, and 11. I hope you have a wonderful birthday and a blessed solar year ahead and beyond. Everyone else, a wonderful Saturday, and bye for now.